How's it going? Welcome to another All About RVs. I'm Jared Gillis, and today we're gonna to be talking about some of those secret, almost hidden things that uh, there's quite a few people out there that don't know about RVs, these typical things that are on RVs. So uh, let's dive into the list. We got, I think, like five of them. So um, if you look at RV locks, this is gonna be the first one. Uh, you have two locks on your RV lock. You have uh, the upper one that will lock the, the handset, and then you have the lower one that is the deadbolt. So here's the scoop on that. This top one, oftentimes you'll see like an M on it, and so that's like a master lock. So uh, these RV dealerships, they'll have a master key that goes to like tons of these RVs and they're able to get in and out of them quickly. And so there's master keys that go to that lock. Now your key is gonna work in that also, um, but this bottom one uh, that is the deadbolt, that one is gonna be keyed specific to your RV. So uh, that top one being a master key, a lot of people don't know about that. So I usually like to rely more on the deadbolt one on the bottom rather than the one that could have a master key out there. That to say, I don't think people are running around with master keys trying to get into RVs, but I'd prefer to use the deadbolt. Now on to number two. Remember, this is the one you're supposed to act surprised on. That's I should have probably made this number one because if you have a digital lock like we do, these RV locks, um, if you hold down the number one button, that's why I should have made it number one, uh, you'll hear some beeps. And when you hear those couple of beeps is what has just happened is you've just silenced the beeps on your RV lock. So a lot of people don't like being able to uh, announce with these loud beeps when they leave or when they get there, uh, they would prefer to silence them. So if you hold down the one button, you get those couple of beeps and now it is silenced. So if you press any buttons, no more noise. Now for number three, which has to do with this little vent over here, which is the vent that's right above our oven. So if we're cooking and we wanna turn on the vent, this is where that air comes out. What some people don't know is there's actually some tabs on this vent uh, so that the if you release those tabs, there's a little door that will open when you turn that fan on. So uh, if you don't release those tabs and you turn the fan on inside, you're not actually moving any air to the outside. You just have a noisy fan inside. So if you wanna use this fan, inside to be able to get some of that air out while you're cooking, uh, make sure you release those tabs and that will allow it to function properly. Now, number four has to do with the uh, compartment locks, the storage bay areas. So if you have like a cylinder type of a lock on those bays and you have this type of key, then a lot of times those are keyed alike to almost all RVs. So anybody with this key can come into your, your storage area. So if you're wanting to make your storage areas more secure, swapping out these locks really is pretty simple and a, a great idea so that not just anybody with that key can come and open your, your storage bay area. I'll put a link in the description to those kind of locks uh, in case you wanna swap those out. So uh, we got two more, actually, yeah, two more inside. Now, this one is an interesting one. So um, on a lot of RV fridges, they'll have this button up here that says, uh, climate control switch. So if uh, you're wondering what that switch does is uh, because your fridge is trying to cool everything on the inside, there is a heat strip basically that goes around like a, a heating element that goes around your doors. So if there's condensation, it will eliminate condensation so you don't get water just building up all around your fridge doors. So um, if you have that problem, you can flip that on and it'll help alleviate that. But if you're out there boondocking and you're not having issues with condensation, turn that off because you don't wanna be wasting energy, wasting power uh, when you don't really need to. You don't need to put a heating element next to your door if you don't have any condensation. So that is what the uh, climate control switch does on your fridge. Now, I know I said five in the beginning, so I guess we'll call this one a bonus. And this one has to do with the AC. I, I think more people know about this one, uh, but you have these louvers and uh, if you were to open these, it's gonna dump all the cold air right here. So say your RV is extremely hot and you just wanna be able to get the core area cooled down first so that you can have something that's somewhat uh, comfortable. Uh, you open up these louvers here so that all that air just dumps right here in the center. And then when that comes to temperature, or you, you're happy with it, you're able to close this 
if you have it ducted throughout the rest of the, the RV. And now it's going to push it through the ducts and drop it into like the, the bedroom or the different area where those ducts go so that it can evenly cool the RV a little bit better. So just a little bonus one there. Well, hopefully at least one of those things or maybe a few of those things were new to you or you haven't heard those before. Now you're you're let in on some of those little secret hidden things about RVs. So um, that's going to do it for today. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And uh, if we don't see you on the road, hopefully we'll see you in the next video. 